Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, do we have a good one for you. I have two separate Lego Animal Crossing sets to build and review, but also we will be building one of these sets in the actual gameplay itself. So stay tuned for that. But today, the majority of today's video will be reviewing the Lego set 77046 or Julian's birthday party. And let me tell you, there is no one that was more excited for these sets to actually release when they were first announced. And these were released in March of 2024. And I I know I'm late to the party. I'm just picking up these sets. Um, but I knew that once I did and I built these, then there would be no stopping me from buying all of them and building an actual Animal Crossing village in our Lego city. So this set is really unique. It is 170 pieces. So it's a pretty easy build and it's got some really awesome callbacks to the game itself. You have some of the printed coin pieces as well as some the actual minifigs as the villagers that you can get in the game as well. Um, so like I said, really excited to build this set and we will also be building this set in the gameplay itself. So stay tuned for that. Also, you would not believe we found the Maples Pumpkin Garden Poly Bag at Target this weekend for $4.99. Instead of having to spend, I believe it was $70 on Animal Crossing sets from Lego, they're selling these at Target. So you would not believe how excited I was and you would not believe how excited I am to have Maple, who is one of the sweetest and cutest villagers in the game, um, to go along with uh, the Julian's birthday party set as well. So stay tuned and we will get to those builds. Okay, and now let's get into it. So these are some of my favorite play features that come along with the set. Number one, the gift box opens, um, and then also this tree, and if you play Animal Crossing, when you shake the trees, things fall out of them. So I thought it was a really cool call to add uh, this little space in the tree where you can store things so that your villagers can shake them and they will fall out. Anyways, this is a very beautiful little set that if you are an Animal Crossing lover, you need this set. It's totally worth it, uh, even just for the minifigs itself. But I do really like about this set is that there's plenty of different ways that you can display this set. Each of the little circular plates are removable and you can attach them however way you want. Uh, like I personally really like to just take the little cherry blossom tree and the Julian minifig and display that as well. And now the moment you've been waiting for it, to build this actual set in the game. So how I'm planning to do this is by using the Animal Crossing DLC Paradise Planning to invite villagers that already live on your island by using the souvenir chocolates. So you can see here I am visiting Julian's house on my island so that I can invite him to come and get a vacation home designed by me. And one of my favorite things about Julian is that he always refers to my character as Glitter. So let's go Glitter. Anyways, I think that's really cute and fun. So here I am inviting him. I'm giving him the chocolate so he'll come to the Paradise Planning Island so we can build him a totally new vacation home that doesn't really mess with anything that he has on my island currently. So what I really want to do is make this look very as close as I can to the actual box art and set rather than just the set itself. So when I'm picking out an island, I'm trying to find an island that has maybe a river element and then some pink cherry blossom trees so that I can build based upon that. And so I already scoped out this island. I knew that this is the island that I wanted to pick. And here we are. So first I'm going to design the house based upon Julian's actual house that he comes with when he first moves into your island. I think that's a little neat little callback, so that's that's why I chose that house there. Of course, we need the cherry blossom trees. You can never have too many of these on your island, and that is why playing in the springtime season on Animal Crossing is my favorite. Adding some of these hyanthuses from the actual box art, not the set itself, to add some color. And then I found these stools when I was searching that I think will be the closest to what we can get based upon the set itself. There are quite a few elements of this Lego set that aren't exactly as they would be in the game. For example, there is no purple skateboard in the actual game that I found and I've been playing for a couple years now. However, we're going to make this as close as we can with the different elements. So, so far we have some stools, we have this birthday table that comes with Animal Crossing. I think you get it when on your first anniversary of playing Animal Crossing or your birthday that you put into the set. 
We have street lamps. I have so many of these within my island. They're just a very common element that you see. And of course, you can never have too many cherry blossoms on the ground for a pop of color. And in the actual Lego set, these are the little pink petals that come with uh, the set. So choosing the flowers, I decided to go with these purple rose plants for the one uh, flower set that comes with the Lego set. And then just rearranging it to try to make it as close as I can to the actual Lego set. Next, we're going to add some of the little bell coins that we see on the box art. Um, and then, and I have to have this chocolate cake. The thing about the birthday table in the Animal Crossing world is that it doesn't actually have the chocolate birthday cake that this Lego set does. So I'm just going to add that as a side element. Uh, this birthday sign, which I do really love. I think it's, you know, it's Julian's birthday party. I wish this was a piece that they had included in the set, but alas, that's all right. I did find a blue balloon. I did not find any red balloons, so I'm going to take some of the Easter Bunny Day decorations to try to make up for the lack of red balloon, um, as you can see here. And then, as I was scrolling, I found a cute music player that sort of looks like the radio that is in this set. Um, it's as close, I think, as we can get. I was looking for that blue teal color, um, so we're going to place that here. Of course, no birthday party is complete without um, a gift pile. This is from the Christmas decorations, and I also decided to do these in the cool blue color um, because I couldn't get any purple ones or the red and white ones, obviously, because those are different parts of the game. So we went with the teal or the blue because I feel like that's kind of Julian's vibe. Of course, we cannot forget Julian's gold birthday hat that comes with this set. Also, I was excited that this was included in the birthday party set because this is one of my favorite pieces. It is the Plain Party Lights Arch in the White Birch shade. We're going to place that. We don't have the actual colorful ones like in the actual Lego set, but this is as close we're going to get. So, time weather. Let's try to pick something that kind of looks like the box. And then just adding a stool for that chocolate birthday cake to sit on um, as well. In here you have it. The only last thing to do is add maple into this vacation island using an amiibo chip. And wait for it. And here you go. Here is the Lego set complete with Julian and maple. And reveal here is the Animal Crossing Island. Please let me know how I did. I tried to make it as close as I could using the elements of the game. But like I said, there were some shortcomings that weren't available in the game itself. But let me know what you think. So guys, thank you for tuning in and watching this whole video. Now, if you liked watching this video, please like, comment, and subscribe because my boyfriend said that he will get me the Animal Crossing Nook's cranny set if this video does well. So, um, yeah, let's push a hundred million votes. <laughs> Anyways, thanks again for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, please like, subscribe for more. Um, and until next time. Thank you.